Gerald, I'm here with Representative Robert Foster. Thank you so much again for joining me. I'm happy to be here. Well, one of the key messages you've had all along that you said has set you apart was being the conservative outsider. Do you feel that has resonated with voters? It has. Mississippi has had this long history of putting people on a trajectory in uh, career politics. And by the time they get to a position where they can actually do some good for our state, it seems like they owe so many favors and they made so many promises that they can't do what's in the best interest of the people. And they have to try to make up all those promises and favors to the big donors and people that put them into power. And how have you made yourself the best known candidate when you have Tate Reeves with his experience as lieutenant governor and his fundraising and Bill Waller on the court? Well, money is part of the equation, uh, but it's also the part that comes with the strings attached. And I think people are starting to wake up to that. They're starting to realize that just because you have more money than somebody else doesn't mean you're more qualified to be the candidate uh, for their choice. Uh, so people are now able to look on social media and the internet. Uh, we have a full platform. We were the first candidate to release a full platform on our website at governor.ms. And people have looked at that, and they agree with my positions for the most part. Conservatives and even people all over the state that might not even consider them as self conservative, but they like the ideas of having uh, limited government. They like the ideas of having uh, less taxation on the working class and an education system that works for everybody, not just the people that are college bound. We've got to get career tech back into all of our schools. And we now have less than an hour to go until the po polls close. What would be your final pitch to voters? If you want somebody that's going to go in and do what's in the best interest of all the people in Mississippi and not special interests, and somebody's going to put God first in everything they do, I'm the candidate for that. Thank you so much. And we're sending it back to you.